And I think Cameron volunteered actually to go first. I learned 
something that I can't really explain it because it's not going to be explained. But God did touch my heart and I cried almost every night. And I learned a lot. And thank you for letting us go to camp. Cameron couldn't go to a meal without spilling something. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was me that spilled it, but he had already made some friends and they knew him. So when they saw that he was spilled right in front of him, everyone yelled out, Cameron! I was like, yeah, that was him. <laughs> but no, we did have a blast. It was a really big blessing to see them all united as one. They were together on emotionals and in worship. It was really a time to just let loose. It, it, to let loose in a way. Um, being with kids ranging, ranging from ages of 12 to 18 was very interesting at times. You know, they all had different characteristics, yet we all had some things in common. We all laughed together. We all cried together. We all laughed, cried because we were laughing so hard together. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. We all bonded in a way. It was this really special bond that was only there because God allowed it. Um, it wasn't the same for everyone. Everybody got a different message. Like Cameron had said, we had age groups, Bible studies, that like all the 12, 13 year olds got to go to one. You know, the 9th and 10th got to go to one, and then 11 and 12. And then we even had a class for the adults, so we all were learning the exact same thing every day. But it was nice, it was very well organized. So we, we weren't with them 24 7. They got attendance taken. If one of them was missing, they would call someone from the church and say, you know, where are they at? Luckily, we didn't have a problem. So it was really, really good. Um, one thing that I would like to challenge our youth is to continue the quiet time. Every morning, before we even started our day, we would take 10 or 15 minutes to just dedicate to God. Jose would give a little message, a little devotional, and then we would take just quiet time, we would pray, but then we would sit and listen to see what God had to say to us. So I encourage them to not let distractions or temptations or what they say coming back to real life discourage them from continuing to spend it just a little bit of time with God. This was a really big blessing for me. I was blessed by each and every one of them. So I thank you for all the help that you did, for the donations of the food, for coming out at 2 o'clock in the morning to help us pack everything into the van and getting us there. Without your help, we would not have been able to do it. And I thank you guys all for giving me such a blessing, for making it a really, really big success. Thank you. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, the, the, first of all, I'll start with the drives, and the drives were very long. It was uh, maybe 10 hours the first time, probably 10 hours the last time I lost count, passed up on the city. But, the first one was awesome. They were all asleep. <laughs> for, uh, probably three fourths of the drive, they wake up. Where are we? Oh, where are we in Oklahoma City? And get past that. And they woke up for a little while and then they right back to sleep. So uh, it, it it was fun uh, on the way up there and on the way back. Uh, uh, Maria and, and uh, Lisa uh, kept me awake most of the time, uh, laughing. 
mainly Lisa. <laughs> uh, and, and of course, everybody was, we just, if you look at this, this is a, a very new uh, youth group in comparison. Uh, they, they're learning to bond, learning to grow together, learning about God together. And so there's uh, some areas where it kind of needs a little bit tweaking and a little bit of adjustment, but God kind of handles most of, most of the, the, the growing. Um, uh, centerfuge, this is the third time I've been to a centerfuge camps. And one of the things that I've noticed from other camps that we've been around and, and, and is, is the organization itself. It's being organized and driven to clockwork and more than anything, the participation of all the kids. Every youth was involved at their age level and there was no excuse of whether I would like to go to the dorm, I don't want to really do this. Uh -uh. Everybody was involved. Uh, Marie and I did participate in no, uh, what is it? older, <laughs> an older youth, uh, older youth, older groups of people. Yeah, they were older youth. And uh, we, we did things like trust, you know, falling back on uh, on each other, uh, carrying each other, and uh, and then we people would climb. Well, I didn't climb the wall because I bad me, but people were climbing walls, and, and we just had a really blessing of that. As to my experience, uh, God did speak to me, uh, and you know, you, you go. I go to these camps expecting to see God's face and expecting to see God and, and expecting to hear from Him. And uh, one of the things that I heard more than anything was a steadfast spirit. Uh, in Psalm 51, uh, in preparation for the devotionals and the uh, the quiet times that we had, there was God kind of leading me through it, but when we got there, Psalm 51 came alive to me when David had fallen and and his next, right by the middle of the, the chapter, he's asking God for a contrite, uh, for a contrite heart, but then he's asking for a steadfast spirit. So once he's fallen, the first thing David, I picture David in my mind as he's fallen into sin or he's fallen into anything, his hand was reaching up already. Because that's what he would cling to. He would cling to God immediately. He knew he committed sin, and the first thing he would turn to is turn to his Lord, that he had sinned against him. Uh, and that's what, in, in, in every question that we have, we need to ask the Lord to praise it. Spirit to be moving on a constant basis to to uh, uh, be energized, and that's what they brought. They brought a lot of energy. Um, so dealing with that, I, I brought that into the, the studies that we had. Um, the staff, the, the camp was amazing. The dorms were great. I think we had three per room, and they shared one bathroom. So uh, the camp itself was beautiful. We were enjoying. Probably low 90s temperature while you guys were scorching 110 over here. So praise God for that. Uh, I do want to thank each and every one of you for uh, your support, your prayers, uh, everything that you guys did for the youth. Uh, I, I can't even begin to put names or anything. I just know that each and every one of you has touched each and every one of us uh, with your support and help. Uh, it was very hard. We had, we had to work hard, but I tell you what, I'm, I'm proud of all of them because they stood up, worked hard for what they wanted to get accomplished, and they got it. And they got it, and I think they bonded, which was a, a great thing to as well. So uh, just thank you very much for all that you guys have helped and prayed and supported us with.